Why are you personally so passionate about health equity? That's a really good question, Nakisha. I, I think it is just at the heart of nursing is really how we treat our patients and being able to treat everyone so that um, they're aware of what's happening to them and how important that is to the whole care process and particularly the um, experience in peri -op. It's very frightening to have surgery and if you don't speak the language, if nobody in the room looks like you, I think all of that adds to it. So equity in that experience is really important but it's also important as you look to the entire person and what they bring into the setting. Yes, I agree. I feel like it's such a big world. And I think, um, you know, sometimes I think to myself, like, where do we start? Like, how do we, yeah. how do we kind of wrap our arms around that? Um, you know, if, if somebody really wants to get involved and like, how do you decide where you start? Um, what piece of advice would you give somebody who really wants to start, you know, making an impact on health equity, even if it's in their personal practice or if you're a leader from just whatever perspective you feel like you want to share? Well, I think one of the most important things is to really understand the sociocultural aspects of um, patients as they come into the healthcare system. They come from all walks of life. What they bring to the experience is all the cultural norms that they have, what they've been taught about uh, illness and, and health and wellness. And when they bring that in, it really um, takes some time to be able to find out what their base knowledge is and then to build on that. I think one of the most important things is to really understand what the social determinants of health mean and how they contribute to um, the patient's experience. It goes all the way back to uh, what their diets are, what their habits are, and it's, I think it is hard for perioperative nurses to, to make that connection sometimes without really thinking about it. Yes. So um, to that point, I, when I was in my DMP program, I had to do a project on social determinants of health and I have to be honest like that was really the first time that I had ever really been introduced to what are social determinants of health and at that moment I felt kind of sad for myself that I as a leader didn't really know more about that and that I needed to do more and kind of understand it more and so then it became like quite clear to me I thought of many times that I've you know, seen patient outcomes or situations with patients where I probably had blinders on and just didn't think to myself that maybe you know, that patient couldn't get here because they didn't have tra transportation or maybe they don't exercise because their neighborhoods aren't safe. And so I had no idea what those things were. So how do you think that we can educate our perioperative nurses a little bit more on even social determinants of health in itself so that they can then understand why these things even matter? Really good question, uh, Nikisha. I think ARN has a great opportunity to really put together a, a toolkit, to put together some resources um, that are really um, extend throughout the uh, association to all of our members and non-members on the fundamentals, the foundation of what the social determinants are and, and how they impact. Uh, it's When you begin to, to understand it, then all of a sudden it's sort of that aha moment. Um, and the same thing is true about post-operatively. Can the patients understand what they're being told? Do they have the opportunity to um, to practice some of the things or to take advantage of some of the things that we recommend they do to proceed and, and to expedite the healing process. They may not have access to fresh fruits and, and groceries. And in that case, it's the referral to the social work. So it really is expanding the role of the perioperative nurse so that they're looking at the entire patient and what's important to them.